everybody, Donut here, and we're back with another video. So, I didn't record my voice again, I don't know why. Weird, right? So, I'll figure it out, but this video, real long to make, okay? So, hope you all enjoyed this. So, yeah. You should go talk to Blake or Alice. They handle most of our contact with visitors. I watch all sorts of things with my binoculars. Who wants to know? And why? Nice looking blonde boy? I always wondered if he was watching me back. What's he like? Really? Oh, that's so sweet. I'd love to go meet him. Is there any way the boomers would let me visit Nellis? This is so exciting. Let me know how it turns out. Hello, friend. How... Well, well, this is welcome news. Who is she? She's with those traitors? They've tried to contact us before, but I'm not interested in trading with greedy savages. This presents a bit of a problem. Jack isn't allowed to leave Nellis, and I doubt she would make it through the artillery alive. Hmm. I suppose Jack deserves a chance at love. You can tell Jack she has a free pass to enter, but he is responsible for her actions. Do not make... Morning. This has been a dream come true to work on the lady. I don't think I've seen Loyal this frisky in years. Here, take this boomer outfit. I'll let the gunners know she's coming. That right here? Morning. Hello again. How's your boomer friend? I was hoping you would. What's going on? Have they agreed to my safety yet? There's one more thing. I have a work contract with the Crimson Caravan, and if I walk away, I lose the wages they owe me. Could you do just one more thing for me and talk to Al- Now I gotta talk to Alice first. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company, New Vegas branch. What may I do for you? Ah, yes. Her infatuation with a boomer she's never met. It's a small camp. More gets around. She's aware she's breaking her contract, which is undoubtedly why she sent you to talk to me instead of coming herself. Janet is free to leave, but she forfeits the wages she's owed. That's the price of contract breaking. Take it or leave it. Intriguing. Janet puts in a good word for me, and the Crimson Caravan gains exclusive access to the boomers. Yes, that works for me. Janet will be paid what she's owed. Have you spoken with McLafferty yet? That's great! I can't believe you went through all this trouble. It's great to finally meet you. Hi there. It's great to meet you as well. I'm glad you made it out here. You're even more stunning up close than you were at a distance. And you're even more handsome up close. Do you think it'll be okay if I hang around here for a little while, so we can get to know each other better? Of course it would. I'll have you set up with some quarters with some of the other women. Thank you for getting me here. Jack is a great guy. Thank you for getting Janet to Nellis. I've never been so happy in my entire life. See ya. It's good to have a friend of the... In so I did. As you may have noticed, our position here in New Vegas is tenuous. We've made great strides, sure, but the NCR is not welcome here, merely tolerated. And even then, not by everyone. We've had reports of violence against NCR citizens in a neighborhood just to the northeast called Freeside. Ever been there? You'd 
remember this one. It's a pit where people are robbed, murdered, or simply go to die. Violence is something of a way of life there, but there's been a disturbing rise in the number of attacks on our people lately. More worrying is the fact that our sources suggest the violence is being perpetrated by the gang that runs the place, the Kings. I need someone to look into this that won't attract attention. Good. Our men have come up with two different plans for seeing an end to the violence. First, our sources have tracked most of the attacks back to a king. The problem is we can't simply kill him. In the current climate, the NCR would likely be blamed for his death. There is an alternative option, but my sources feel that getting rid of this Pacer fellow is our best shot. Make it look like an accident, or pin the deed on someone else. Look into this guy's affairs and I'm sure you'll find something you can use. I'm sure something will... It may be tough to find... In that case, we could take a different tact. But one that I at least have more experience with. Diplomacy. If we can't go after the man responsible, we'll simply appeal to the man above him. The Kings, including our friend Pacer, and report to the leader of their gang. A man who calls himself the King. Go and talk to the King. Try to convince him to put an end to this violence. What do we have here? Another petitioner for the king? Anything's possible, I suppose. How much is it? You know what? I like you. Half the people around here, they forget who runs this place. Head on through. Look, Rexy, someone new's come to see us. Poor boy. He hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm the king. What can I do for you? So, I'm supposed to just start giving in to the demands of random strangers that come in here, huh? I don't think so. You want something from me? You're gonna have to... I'll start you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered Freeside? good money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside's not as safe as it used to be, so the money is well earned. Usually well earned, that is. Recently, my men tell me that one of those bodyguards, a fellow named Oris, is making a little too much money. He's making a killing in repeat business. Once someone hires him, they never want anyone else. I want you to find out why. Specifically, I want you to hire him, play the part of an innocent tourist, and follow his lead. If nothing happens, so be it. But I'm guessing things won't go. Okay then. If you need to cross Freeside, no one will keep you safer than I will. 200 caps gets you my watch for life. Done and done. I want to mention a few things up front. In order to ensure your safety, I need you to follow my instructions to the letter. We'll be heading down the main street here the whole way down. No detours. You go off sightseeing, and I go off to find another customer. I'll keep a brisk pace, so try not to fall behind. Hey, slow down. I don't like the look of some of those men ahead. Let's take a different way around. Nothing to worry about. If you had hired one of those other hacks, you'd be up to your ass in low life right about now. Uh, noticed that, did you? I keenly aimed one of the shots through some soft tissue of one of them to hit the man behind him. That's an interesting theory you've got there. I'd suggest you keep it to yourself. Let's get moving. I ought to take my chances and kill you right here, but you may be right. Here, take this. Don't think this is over, though. I'll have that money back, out of your hide if I have to. What do you have for me? 
So that's how it happens. Okay then, I'll have some guys pull him off the street when no one's looking. You've shown me something, so maybe you can... A lot of folks around these parts who've been here a while resent the sheer number of people that have come into the area since the strip was built. In turn, the newcomers, most of whom come from the NCR, have gotten ornery from being resented. Sometimes things get violent. This is one of those occasions. Recently, a few friends of mine were attacked, and I want you to find out who did it. Words come that they just woke up over at the old Mormon fort just north of here. Head on over, see if they remember anything. Good. What is it? Can't you see I want to be left alone with my friend here? Oh, that's different then. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. Well, it happened at night, around 11. We'd recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest it wisely. As we were leaving the Wrangler, we must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter side of town. From out of nowhere, these big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanting to know if we were locals. The kid there's about as proud as a local around here gets, and started yelling back at him. Then all hell broke loose. Kid got the worst of it, sad to say. They were big guys, young too. No old geezers like me. Hell, none of them looked even half my age. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it happened, so I only got a quick look at him. I hope you find the... That true? Did the king really send you? I don't really know what else I can add. There were a bunch of guys, better dressed than most freesiders, I guess. That help? Sorry I couldn't help more, especially since you're being so nice. Hey, wait, I just remembered something. I might have heard one of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. It might have been something else. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something, something with a T. Tenant, that's what he called him. Lieutenant. He probably said Lieutenant, Wayne. The boy means well, but he's dumb as a mutant sometimes. Have you found anything out? Or were you just here to chat? Bunch of soldier boys, huh? They usually don't come around these parts since their big base is on the other side of the strip. If they're coming over here now, it's gotta be for a reason. I didn't want to believe the rumors that they're looking to take over Vegas, but now, if something big is going down, I'm sure rumors of it will have spread. Ask around, particularly in the squatter areas where the NCR folk hang. You might also mosey on over to the Mormon fort and chat Julie Farkas up. The followers tend to be in the know about these things. Just don't ask her what to do about it. She'll probably ask you to hug someone or something. Only a little. A friend of mine, Major Elizabeth Kieran, has been handing out supplies to the poor a little west of here. What about it? I know something's got them riled up, but I've been too busy with other matters to really look into it. If you're looking into the matter, talk to Elizabeth. She's in charge of the operations here in Freeside, though she won't open up to you right away. If Elizabeth holds out on you, tell her that... Was there any... You look like a person in need of a good meal. You wouldn't happen to be an NCR citizen, would you? Hold up. What's the password? If you're here to see the Major, then I suppose it... Here you go. I hope this helps. Find out something about them soldier boys yet? Handing out supplies? Like food and stuff? That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. You find anything else? Nothing's innocent in free.
No, I'm guessing they're doing something they know will cause a row, like keeping the food all of the... Ah, that would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. I'm gonna see that those supplies are distributed a little more... What the hell? What? King, we've got problems. Lay it on me. What's going on? There's a shootout going down near the train station. It's Pacer and some strangers. Might be NCR. I want you to back him up. See this through, and there'll be something good waiting for you when you get back. Dang. Pacer's dead, and that's just a dead kick. Good, you're here. These soldier boys don't kid around. They must have had a lookout posted and spotted us coming. They took out two of my guys right away, and now the rest are too scared to move in. Well, that leaves you. You're a bastard after my own heart. Here. No, we're not gonna do this part, so I'm just gonna let some other save. Okay, we're back with Ambassador Crockett. Ah, hello. Yep. That's most unfortunate. In this circumstance, I've been instructed to send you along to Colonel Moore over at Hoover Dam for further orders. The Colonel will likely send you back to Freeside with a squad of armed men, for all the good that will do. Oh, I like the Colonel just fine. She's a good soldier, one of the best. I just don't think her general approach to things is a good fit here. See, the Colonel likes to... That won't work here. Unless she plans on killing half the population of Freeside, sending soldiers to the area will only make... Th I'd suggest you speak to Colonel Shu over at Camp McCarran. He's much more level... Okay. He's I'll speak to Colonel... Okay, here's Colonel Shu. But I'll end the video right here, guys. So, hope y'all enjoy. Real confusing, bro. I've spent too much time right now. So... Too much time on this, that's why. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Donut out.